Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Let's make something stunning, but super simple. Y'all stay tuned. So for today's project, we are going to use this one sheet of 12 by 12 paper to make an amazing paper purse, which I'll be using for a gift card, but you can use it for any reason that you choose. And I'll show you the purse. So here it is. It is absolutely adorable. It measures three and three quarters by three and a half, and it's two inches deep. And I'll open it up and you can see what it looks like on the inside. And we're going to make this with that one sheet of paper that I just showed you. And it is fabulous, guys, and so easy to make. So let's get started on making it. So to make this project, you're going to need some type of a paper cutter as well as a scoring um, tool. So I am going to take my paper and place it in. And here's how I'm going to cut it so that I can get what I need from this to be able to make the purse. So I am going to cut a strip that measures eight by 12. And then I'll cut a strip that measures one by 12. And then I'm going to cut two strips that measure three by four and a quarter. And I'm going to take this one strip that I cut 12 by 1 and I am going to cut that down to 8 by 1. So I'll have an 8 by 1 strip and a 4 by 1 strip. So here is what you're going to need. You're going to need a strip that measures 4 by 1, a strip that measures 8 by 1, two pieces that measure 4 and 1 quarter by 3, and one piece that measures 8 by 12. And we're going to start with the piece that measures 8 by 12. So I am going to bring in my scoring, my bone folder, and with my paper in on the 8 inch side, I am going to score this at 2. And then I'm going to turn it to the opposite 8 inch end and score it at 2 and a quarter. And then I am going to turn it on the 12 inch side and I will score this at half an inch. At four. At six. Let's this over some so you guys can see. At nine and a half. And then at 10 and 1 quarter. So we are going to fold and burnish all of our scores and we need to give this a very good burnishing and my recommendation is that you use a good quality cardstock for this project. Okay so once we have all of our scores folded and burnished I am going to come back and I'm simply going to take some glue on the end that has this really narrow strip, the piece that we folded on the 12 inch side that was half an inch. I'm placing glue on that and I'm going to glue it down. Okay, and then what I'll be doing is I am going to take tape now you may want to glue this, but I am going to use tape and I am simply going to take tape and run it from the top to the bottom of the two wide panels. A 
Okay, so once we have both sides taped, all I'm going to do is just peel up my tape. And I've already peeled up the tape on the other side. And all I'll do at that point is bring these two wide panels in, come back with my bone folder, and get these really stuck down. And this serves as the liner of our paper bag, so you don't need to worry about putting in a liner piece on these simple little bags. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and just fold everything up just to get it ready to be formed into a cute little purse. And you can see that it is starting to take shape just like this. So I am going to set this to the side and I'm going to bring in the two pieces that measure four and a quarter by three. And what I'll be doing is I am going to score both of these at half an inch on all four sides. Okay, and then I'm going to fold and burnish my scores, and I should have done my scoring on the yellow side because that is the side that I want showing. And to minimize cracking on your paper, you should score on the side that you want to be displayed. But this paper is not cracking, so I got lucky. And then once we have both pieces scored and folded, we're just going to do a simple cut at one end and in that end, we have got two square pieces on both of these pieces that we just scored, and we need to get rid of those. So we're just gonna cut those out. Just like that. And now we need to attach these to our bag. So what we'll be doing is I'll be placing hot glue right here, and then I'm going to take that, and right where I've got this, I've got two big panels, and then I've got a two inch panel. I'll just be laying that down right there. So edge to edge. And I'm gonna bring in my yucky old glue gun, and I know that it's yucky and it's old, but you know what guys, it works, it gets the job done. And that's all I need it to be. And so I'm gonna slide this over and slide it back. So all I'm doing is taking this piece and getting it stuck down just like that. So I'm gonna come back with my bone folder and just spread that hot glue out a little bit. And I'll do the same thing on this side. So I am going to take my glue, put it there, and then I'll put this in place, making sure that I match it up so that it is even with the scores so that when I fold it up, it's gonna fold up nice and even. And then I am going to take my wet glue and I want to take the tops of these and just fold them down just finishing it off very nicely. Okay, so we have this. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and put this together. So here's how I'm going to do it. I am going to start with one of my side pieces and I'll use hot glue for this and I'm just gonna run a strip of hot glue. Then I'll take it and I'm going to match that up just like that. And I'll come back with my bone folder and get everything stuck down. And it'll be just like this. So the easiest way to do it is whatever side you've started on just slide over 
and pick the other side piece that matches up with it on the opposite end. So again, I'll come back with my glue. I am going to take it, bring this up just like this, put this down and get this stuck down. Okay, and because we're working with such a small purse, we can now place glue on both of these. If I was make, working with a larger purse, I would actually place glue on one, put it down, and then glue the other. But because we're working with such a small purse, we can do it this way. And you can also use wet glue on this if you want. I'm using hot glue because it's just quicker to work with. So I'm gonna just put that one down. Then I'll come over to this side real quick and put this one down. And then I'll go in on the inside and smooth them both down. Okay guys, so now we've got our purse is formed. So all I'm going to do is bring this over and you can see how cute this is already looking. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add my magnets to close my purse. I don't have any Velcro dots. If I did, I would use those because this really isn't, um, it's not necessary that you use magnets on this part. I don't have any Velcro dots, so I am going to use a magnet. And basically what I'm doing is placing a glue dot on the back of my magnet. I'm going to take that off and I'll take this magnet and I'm going to place it about half an inch from the top, right there. And that's where my glue, that's where my um, Velcro dot would be placed if I had some Velcro dots, which I wish I did because it's more economical to use Velcro dots on this than it is magnets. So all I'm doing is taking my second magnet, placing it down so that it can find uh, the first magnet, then I'll put my glue dot on and peel that off and then all I need to do is bring my top down like this and I'll come back and just rub it a little bit to get that stuck and then my magnet will stay in place so now what I'm going to do is bring in my handle and this is the eight by one piece that I cut and I am going to place this in my scoreboard and I am going to score this at a quarter of an inch and then I'll score it at five eighths of an inch. And then I'm also going to bring in the piece that measures four by one and I am going to score it at three eighths. Okay, so then we're going to take our strip and just fold in those score marks and I'll bring in my glue and I am just going to glue this down And then I'll place glue on the other third and we'll close it as well. And then I'm going to take this and just run it along the edge of my desk. That'll help the glue to just really bond to the paper, but it also start to give me a nice little curve, which is what I want. So while that is drying, I'll bring in the one by four piece that I cut and I'm going to go ahead and just place some glue on it on both sides and then I'm going to bring this on just like this get this stuck down come back with my bone folder get it nice and stuck then I'll come back with my scissors and snip off my excess. Just like this. See how pretty that looks? It's already looking super, super cute. 
All right, guys, so I have added a little um, embellishment to the front of my box. And now we want to go ahead and place our handle. So all I'm going to do with the handle is fold in my sides about half an inch on both sides. And then I am going to take my hot glue gun and just place some glue. And then I'll come back on the inside panel and I'm going to be placing the glue to the underside of this panel here. So all I'll do is come back and I am going to push in my handle on the side and just get it stuck down, just like that. And then I'll come over to the other side, place some glue, And I'll do the same thing. So I'm just going to bring it in right here. And I'll push this down. And there we have got a handle for our purse. And then once you close your purse, you can come back and shape the handle however you want it to look. But I am pleased with how this one looks. And I have added flat back pearls to the bottom for my feet and I added those using wet glue. So you can embellish this as much as you want or as little as you want. I went with a very minimalist embellishment on this one but you can certainly dress this thing up to the nines if you want because it is a gorgeous gorgeous little gift card purse and it is perfect for any occasion is perfect for other items, trinkets, nail polishes, candies, whatever. It is perfect for gift giving. So I hope that you guys have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.